election yesterday. May OK, we're taking you live to Frankston where Prime Minister Anthony Albanese is speaking. ...to send Jody Bellier as their representative to Canberra. Jody Bellier is Frankston tough, as she said last night. She's someone who's absolutely passionate about representing this community. And I want to thank Jody, but also all of the volunteers and her campaign team who worked so hard to make sure that she can carry on and build on the legacy that the late Peter Murphy provided over an all sh too short time in being the member for Dunkley. Uh, last night was a moment to reflect on Peter Murphy and for Rod, I spoke to Rod earlier uh, in the night, uh, her uh, husband and life partner for many decades. And so it was a difficult period. Uh, but I know that uh, Jody uh, will be, uh, just as Peter Murphy was, a strong advocate for this local community, a strong advocate for widening those doors of opportunity that we're doing through fee-free TAFE in providing support for families like we're doing with cheaper childcare, cheaper medicines, with investing in young people and opportunity through the reforms that Jason Clare has flagged as well through the reviews that we're doing throughout the education system. Jody Bellier will also be a strong advocate for jobs. My government's very proud that more jobs have been created on our watch than at any first time government in Australian history. And on cost of living, we'll continue to look for what measures we can put in place to take pressure off cost of living without putting pressure on inflation. The tax cuts will go to all 13.6 million people, including every single taxpayer here in Dunkley. We were absolutely committed uh, to doing that, not because it was the easy thing, but it was the right thing to do making sure that no one missed out by putting those tax cuts for those below $45,000, but also aiming squarely at Middle Australia, making sure that Middle Australia will get double the tax cut that they were going to get. Uh, this week, uh, we have uh, some further uh, actions foreshadowed. I'll come back and, and address those uh, during, during questions, but uh, for now, I think for Jodie Bellier, she's someone who's not a, a political professional. We met very early on uh, about uh, whether she would be prepared to be our candidate. Peter Murphy showed incredible judgment throughout her life. And one of the ways that she showed judgment was in recruiting Jodie to the Labor Party and encouraging her to be a candidate uh, because uh, yesterday uh, proved uh, that she was someone who was worthy of continuing the work that Peter Murphy did since 2019. Uh, Jodie will join a team which is majority female, the first uh, government uh, in Australia's history that has had a majority of caucus members, government members, uh, who are women. Uh, they're strong women. They're people who are there who advocate uh, for greater opportunity and I know that Jodie's career if you look at her work through the Women's Spirit Program and others that drew her attention uh, to be taken by Peter Murphy uh, she will now take those skills that she's learnt as an advocate onto the floor of the House of Representatives and she'll be a very welcome addition to our team so congratulations Jodie Thank you. Uh, the hard work starts now and the hard work of our government will continue each and every day up to the next election and beyond.